Welcome to our blog. In today's video, you're going to learn about grammar translation method. Have you ever heard about it? Well, that's a method of teaching foreign languages, which is a derived method of teaching Greek and Latin. In grammar translation classes, students learn grammatical rules and then apply those rules by translating sentences between the target language and the native language. At this point, probably you're wondering what's its origin. It dates back to Erasmus on the year 1466 to 1536. Originally, it was used to teach Latin and Greek in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The grammar translation method is not new. It has had different names, but it has been used by language teachers for many years. At one time, it was called classical method since it was first used in the teaching of the classical languages, Latin and Greek. Earlier in 20th century, this method was used for the only purpose of helping students read and appreciate foreign languages literature. It was also hoped that through the, the study of grammar of the target language, students would become more familiar with the grammar of their native language and that uh, this familiarity would help them speak and write their native language better. Finally, it was thought that foreign languages learning would help students grow intellectually. It was recognized that students would probably never use the target language, but the mental exercise of learning would be beneficial anyway. There are several characteristics that difference this method from other ones. The first one is that vocabulary words are chosen from the reading text used. So teachers teach vocabulary words through memorization, bilingual word lists, and dictionaries. The second one is that the basic unit of teaching and language practice is the sentence. Most of the lessons focus on sentence translation from and also into the target languages. The third one, deductive method is using grammar. So rules are presented and studied for then the students uh, to practice through translation exercises, putting in practice what they was given. And finally, the fourth one, new grammatical or vocabulary items in the target language are explained in the student's native language. In order to have a comparison between the target language and the student's native language. The grammar translation method have some techniques to be applied. For example, the first one, the translation of a literary passage. With this technique, the student will, will have to translate a paragraph or a sentence from the target language into the native language. The second technique is the deductive application of rule. With this technique, the student uh, must need to be able to understand the grammar rules and also their exceptions for them to apply it uh, into new examples. And finally, the memorization. Memorizing vocabulary lists, grammatical rules, and grammatical paradigms will be an important part on its learning. And those are some techniques to apply successfully this method.